Leg riding. It's a little bit of an advanced concept, but it's really what you want to aspire to be as a top position wrestler. Of course, we want to use our arms when we wrestle, but we've got four limbs and we might as well get all of them working. There's going to be two different styles of leg rides that we're going to talk about. We have single leg rides, where one leg reaches all the way around, and then we have double leg rides. Both very strong and very difficult to beat for the bottom guy. So one of the great things about leg riding is it's a legal way to put your opponent in pain. There's a lot of painful moves in leg riding because you're twisting his body in one direction on the bottom and in another direction on the top. If you kind of like hurting the other guy and making him uncomfortable, leg riding will be for you. So for single leg riding, we're going to have three different styles. The first we call an old school because it was popular a long time ago. I'm going to reach my leg all the way around his leg inside and hook his ankle here. And then we're going to ride in what's called a cross body ride. Cross body ride here or a parallel ride here. Cross body, parallel. The second style that we're going to have, which is a little bit better than old school, is getting what we call a figure four right there. My ankle comes to the back of my knee and it's stronger. It's much more difficult for his leg to get out. Lastly, the final style, my favorite and probably the most powerful, is a short boot where my leg's not so deep and a single crab here. So if you see how I'm hooking, this leg's just hooking right around his thigh and on the other side, I'm inside his ankle kind of pushing it out. These are all strong styles of leg riding, but my favorite is the short boot single crab. To review, old school, figure four, short boot and single crab. Good.